Hi, so this is a quick uh, guide to adding a stock item or a service item within the stock control module. So click on stock control um, and you'll see a list of already existing stock items. If you click new item, it will pop up with the new item screen. Now if you type in a unique code, um, so we'll say fee 13, give it a name, um, fee for um, service and then you can you select the product group that that fee belongs to okay now one of the things you'll notice that now you've got a number of buttons at the top bottom one of which is duplicate so if you're looking to replicate exactly an already existing stock code just click on duplicate find the code you want to replicate duplicate all details and you can also add in your basic details plus um, your units of measure, supply details, locations and alternative items. Okay, um, and we're going to duplicate all, click OK and that will automatically populate the, the information. So your product group has a number of default um, features already set so if for whatever reason um, you can't get the features that you want it's probably due to your product group setup. Stock unit, tax rate, um, active or inactive. Um, inactive just means it won't appear in any of your drop down boxes when looking when using it within sales order processing. So we're going to keep it as active because you want to use it. You enter your manufacturer name and label. You enter a part number if you wish to use that. And most importantly, you just make sure that this allow sales orders box is ticked. Your average buying price, we're just going to enter 20. Um, and your costing method is preset. Now the reason it's preset is because it comes directly from the product group. So within a product group you cannot have multiple costing methods. If you wish to use multiple costing methods you have to split them out into two different product groups. Okay, item description. Perhaps you want to add in a different item de uh, description. So this is what you can put in. So we'll put it in fee for service. Um, one zero zero four five six, um, and you can, if you want to, you can use this item description and orders and invoices rather than the name highlighted in the top column. Okay, but we don't want to. We want to leave that blank. Analysis: You can preset a number of search values to help you find items, but we'll cover that in another webinar. Most important thing is your default nominal codes. So your stock codes, revenue, accrued receipts and issues. Your legislative information, this is all around your um, your tax and interest act obligations. Um, and very and quite important for stock items rather than service items is your stock take. Every, you can set stock take cycles. Um, so it will give you a reminder when items are due for a stock take. Suppliers, you can add the multitude of suppliers that you have within here and you can set um, preferred suppliers in there. Alternatives, so perhaps you um, offer an item and it's not in stock, you can set up alternatives so that people can offer similar items in the hope of keeping your customer happy. Under locations, uh, this is particularly for stock based rather than service based items. You can have multiple warehouses and then each um, location or each warehouse has a bin or a shelf and you can add multiple shelves to each different location. And the important thing to remember is that these bins are not drop downs, they are free text. So one A3 space for is the same as uh, it's different from one a three space space four okay there is no and it will register that differently so when you're doing reports and you're doing your stock setup it's incredibly important to make sure these are fully set up correctly other things um, you can add attachments in here uh, terms and conditions drawings uh, specifications Memo, you can add additional items um, of commentary around a particular item. Comments, these comments, if you select them, can go through onto the picking list and dispatch notes. You just literally type in what you want to do. This is a picking list item. 
and that will appear on the picking list when you print it and the manufacturing tab is only relevant for manufacturing okay um, and very quickly when you're adding new item and you're using um, price bands you can actually um, set the price for um, for that item within each selling band simply by clicking on the box and changing it okay that's a very very quick introduction to how to add stock um, please post any questions and hopefully I will speak to you soon